Unilever workers from across Europe gathered at the Unilever HQ in Rotterdam to protest against cuts to terms and conditions, attacks on pensions and factory closures. The protest was leading on really from the three month fight we've been having in the UK to defend workers' pensions. Um, at the moment there's currently a proposal on the table from the company who were forced to come to the bargaining table after the strikes and the campaign we've been holding. But this is actually about a much broader issue because in the UK, the company attacked pensions. Um, in France, at the moment, they're closing a factory. Um, they've been outsourcing. And the whole theme of today's protest was Unilever, stop making workers pay for your profits. They've given a commitment that they're going to double their profits in a very short period of time. The only way they can do that is by slashing costs and making workers pay. The only way we're going to stop them is by coming together in solidarity throughout the world Europe and beyond uh, in order to say no, Unilever, do not try and make workers pay for profit. We've been uh, campaigning in the UK about our pensions and I think it's absolutely right that this is, I think this is just the start of it. The only way we're going to be able to combat this, the only way we're going to be able to stand up to Unilever is through solidarity like this. This is why it's great to see everyone out here today to see the solidarity between uh, the, the, all the countries that Unilever has uh, workforces in. We need to build on that solidarity. Building on that solidarity is the only way that we're going to be able to stop Unilever, a hugely profitable company, making its workers pay for those profits. Your dispute in pensions could be just the beginning of bigger problems they were raised in, in, in Western Europe. As you can could read in the in the press the last week's performance said that, that uh, there will be tough times in Western Europe this year and next year. And maybe there are different projects already running and you have heard about it. Different outsourcing projects where our several colleagues are affected. And we will fight, I think we have to fight together in those disputes too and I hope that we will see you uh, and all the other colleagues from uh, Europe here uh, again in, in this fight, maybe later this year or next year. Thank you very much.